Welcome on the TG Network, I'm Vincent and today we're going to play Dark Souls 2 again by From Software and we're going to go through the gutter. So this is just the entrance of the area, so it's filled with statues here which are looking like this one and which could just try to pose on you, so if you can destroy these it will be a lot easier. We're going to jump on this little plank stuff here to access an item which is just over there, but it's not obligated to, to go there. So sometimes you can just fall on it's not the best. So just roll and here we are, almost dead. I should have equipped the um, Shakua rings. Alright, let's pick up this item. And we could go further, but I'm I'm going to show you the bonfire first. So be careful, there is a little gap here. Don't fall in there. And here you are. This is the first bonfire of the zone, and this is the place where we are going to come all the time. So you have two options because this area is very, very dark. So you can just lit the torch at the bonfire if you want. And if you are a mage, you can also use the spell cast light, which is handy because it's going to allow you to to have a shield and and defend yourself. In fact. But I think I'm going to go with the torch because it's pretty handy to to lit all the, the places which are just around. It's going to allow you to to see a lot more stuff because when you have lit one of these torch, you know that this place is down and you you don't have missed anything. So this is what I like to do. A good boss for now, but I think the the light is going to fade at some point. Let's just advance. Be careful not to go in, in the middle because the uh, planks are going to break here. So just follow this thing, but be careful because this part is going to, to fall. It's, it's going a little bit further than the current roof. And I'm not going to fall. You can access a room here and there, but I'm going to do another one before. And I'm going to use my spell to, to go further. It's a lot easier if you are a caster and using range. Oh no, see, this was not the place I was expect oh it is the place I was expecting. It's just the dog was a little bit further than usually. Alright, let's give this one too. We are going to meet a lot of hollow which are going to be making like if they were just sleeping. But rest assured they're not and there is a lot of these statues all around which are going to try to kill you. Hermeticus, nice. So I'm going to, to go on a, s on a circle first because there is a path which is just bringing you back to the bonfire. Oh, what's going on? It's not the, the place to do that. Except if you want to die. You see, all these guys are just on the ground like that, but at some point they are going to attack you, always. More? No, it's just dead. But it's moving. Like <laughs> I love the corpse animation. It's sometimes doing stuff incredibly strange. All right, be careful when you go up the stairs because this one is going to attack you. No, I cannot. I can do that from the stairs, but it's not very useful. Alright. So let's go upstairs. There is a few more hollows. Be careful not to be attacked by this one. Get the torch. When you are there, there is, I think, two hollows which are just on the platform. And there is a few more, you can see their head from here. Maybe I can ju just even shoot them from here. It would be a nice... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to shoot these guys. If I mm, I'm going to take my bow, even if it's going to cut my torch. I oh, here they are. Alright, one is down. Let's see if we can just get the second one. Yes, if I just attack the uh, hand, maybe. Yeah, 
There we go. Just going to lit the torch again. And I have two less hollow oh no, to worry about. I could have killed the other one, but I'm just going to go downstairs and fight. A little bit at least. So there is, I think, two. One with a torch and one without. Why the one with the torch? Strange. Anyway. Even if you fold, it's still good to know that there is, I think, two hollows here. Let's keep going. This one is not very dangerous, just looking at the wall. And if you go that way... Oh, m more, more of these guys. They're not very strong, but if there, are, if there is many enough of these guys, you are going to be taking a lot of it. So I just go that way. And you can just jump on this. Oh, okay, I missed. I'll just go upstairs again. Let's check. I thought there was some kind of hollow around. But there is no item here. All the items you need are upstairs. Ah, here is the torch. Knew there one was one. So let's grab the the ladder which is just in the corner here. And go upstairs. There is a chest in there. Oh, in there, here. This there. Let's leave this torch here. Right. Keep going. From here I can just jump in front of this place and you'll be able to fight an invader which is going to come when you lit the torch. Be careful because there is a... Oh, I forgot this one. Crap. Alright. I'm going to take the chest, but I'm going to be poisoned anyway. Let's just grab it. So I'm invaded. And she's going to, to come from this direction here. See her, she's upstairs. So what I'm going to do is probably kill her from kill, kill her from, from afar. Oh, here she is. Okay, let's just keep going. I'll meet her when I'll meet her. Let's just Ah crap. Sorry. <laughs> I should have jumped. I just want the chest. Alright, let's do that again. A little bit better. I'm going to destroy this statue on the way. Alright, so she won't be bothering me again. Alright. I don't know, jumping seems a little bit wrong here, but... I think I, think I don't have the choice. Alright. Let's grab what's in this chest. It's a twinkling shinite and small smooth and silky stone. Good good loot. Oh, here she is. But she she can't attack me from here, so I'm just going to Yeah from here. It's not very dangerous and it's pretty efficient. Oh crap, I, lo I lose my my luck. Here she is. Banned. Let's just go back here. We can't go further from here. We need to take the ladder again and access the left platform so we can just go back. If I'm not wrong, I'm just checking. No, it seems to be right. Alright, let's just jump and go back here again. So from here you just need to take this pass here and you are going to, to come back to the first bonfire. And if you missed this item which was in, in the three pots when I just jumped from up there, this is how you get it. So let's just go back here, back in the bonfire. And we are going to, going to keep going on this platform but we are going to go on a, s a different place now. I'm always doing the the path on the right because it's bringing us here first. So now we're going to jump in there because there is a few hollow which are just waiting for us. 
Where is he? Oh, he's just there. Alright, so let's just kill this one first because he's already awakened. We're going to kill this one then and... Alright. Okay, there is quite a few. But they don't bear any weapon, I think. So, it's easy to defeat them. I just... Let the torch here. So we'll know we've been here. And the only way for us to... Oh! There is supposed to have, I think, two hollows on this platform. I don't know why they are not there. I'm just going to... It was the way, so I'm just going to keep going, but... Strange, because... Oh! Here they are. Or here, here is, because I don't see the second one. Anyway. Maybe I'm just imagining that there is more. <laughs> so let's climb this one. And, and let this. There is a lot of statues which are just going to try to pose a new air. And there is a door which is just behind these. Do we see it? Yes, yeah, here it is. And we don't have the key right now, so I'm not going to, to go there, there is no item for us. We need to grab a key in Black Gulf, the next area, to be able to, to access this, this door. So let's just keep going on this way, until we reach something interesting. Be careful with this hole, you don't want to fall in there. Alright, there is a little statue here. Very cute. I said be careful with this soul, but you will just go in there next, so it's not very very important. Does I think there is a dog downstairs. Okay, maybe a little bit further. Yes, I think he's just there. Let's be careful. No hollows here. And the dog is, should be just here, yeah. Here it is. These dogs are pretty slow, but if they reach you in close combat, they can do damage. So just be careful with these guys. There is an item here. The dark permanency flame and rotten pine resin. And there should be a few hollows in there. I don't like this plan. <laughs> Seems it's going to to fall all the time. Let's go upstairs. More hollows waiting for us here. I was waiting a little bit because they can't find this, so... Oh, here is one. At least this one will not hit me while I'm climbing. Alright. I think we are clear here. And a few more pots with uh, an item in there. Alright, soul of an endless soldier, and a torch is there. Ooh, I think there is something I did not check. Oh, okay. Let's just kill this one before we're in trouble and see, because I don't remember this place. Yeah, I forgot to come here last time. Oh, it was a, a trap. So, if you go that way, <laughs> be careful. I'm just going to use this one. Alright. And there is... Nah, nothing. <laughs> so this is just a free trap for you. So I'll just go back here. And we are going to go a little bit further. And just roll downstairs. There is going to be a mummy which is coming to you. Soon. 
maybe don't right now, but soon. Just destroy these two. Not if you don't want to take some poison from the back. Going to lead this torch, waiting for the mummy. And there is another hollow which is on the bridge. So I think I've seen the mummy moving. Oh no, it's just a dog. So where is the mummy? <laughs> there is supposed to be one here. So just oh, here she is. I knew I was not waiting for something. Let us just kill this one because he's going to jump on us. All right. And this jump was far less impressive, right, like that. And there we've got a dog here and a hollow up there, up the ladder, I think. No, down the ladder now. <laughs> and sometimes there is a hollow on the right too. Okay, we, we will not wait for him. I'm just going to keep going. So we should just follow this place. I think there's two of these guys. And I'm, I'm still going to check up there if there is no interesting item, but this is not how... Yes, there is a, a chest. I almost forgot this one. Plus a few hollows, I think. Alright. Don't forget to kill these guys, because each time you are going to open a chest, you'll, you'll be vulnerable. Black fire bounds. So now we can just go downstairs. I love how, th how this place is just lit, torch by torch. It's just giving some good ambience to this place, even if it's so dark and so <laughs> dangerous. So when you are here, I think this is where, uh, yes, this is where we jump. Uh, I do have enough life, I think. Uh, yeah. And there's a little hello which is just waiting for you to lit his day. Alright. So the, the path is con continuing this way, but I'm going to go a little bit over this angle to reach two pots with an item. Any chunk, pretty useful if you want to upgrade your weapon. And I think there is a torch here too. Yeah. All right. Let's keep going. So let's jump in there. And there is a hollow just there. There should be another one, I think. Oh no, maybe I'm just seeing too many hollows where there is none. <laughs> so let's keep going. I don't like these. It's creeping me out. Okay, another clo um, corpse with some set item. And if you check downstairs, there is people just waiting for you to to go there and to trap you in s because there is two hollows next to the chest next to a chest on the, this road and if you go there these guys are going to go upstairs and uh, all right they are going to to trap you kind of so the best way is just to dispose of them from here if you can i don't know if i'm going to be able to no anyway just one is not very dangerous. So I'm just going to lit my torch again with some uh, flame butterfly, I think. Flame butterfly, yeah. All right, and we're going to go and unfight them. Be careful! There is a poison stuff here attached to a rope. It can be annoying. So if you go and lead this torch directly, you are going to have three hollow behind you <laughs> before you realize. And there is two more here. Alright. So let's grab the loot. And what in the chest? There is a hollow up the, the ladder which is sometime going downstairs. So be careful because it's it's quite a, a long ladder. And if you if you are on the ladder when he's going downstairs, he's going to try to eat you. And if you don't have enough stamina, he's definitely going to 
to be trouble because it will just make you fall and and it could be a deadly fall because this is such a long ladder oh three this is, normally there is just one which is going down and the other one are just waiting upstairs but it seems today so we're just happy to do some sport so let's just be careful because I want to have most of my stamina if there is another one coming because you can just fight on the ladders if you just attack you can just fight and attack downstairs too this is a fun thing because we are not using these most of the time and it's pretty interesting to, to do so there is a mummy so just be careful I'm going to let this one just there we see we see her head here so I'm just going to go over the corner here lock her and I'm just going to rotate and attack alright she don't have the time to react and I'm going to leave the torch I, I know we can just jump back over there so it sh shall be good I just don't know if I'm going to manage to do that but I know we can do that yeah alright just need to jump a little bit earlier and I'm going to climb the ladder because there is a, r a rope here which is going to a zeppelin which is going to bring you back if you just uh, grab this thing, we are going not going to move, you need to advance. Alright, we are in the middle of the area now. In the top middle of the area. So there is nothing here. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Which is a shame because it's a, a cool place and it could have been hiding some kind of item. Plus, it's not obvious that you need to take the, the rope to, to go downstairs. So the only way for you to go is just to, to jump here. Alright, and as I've cleaned this place already, I think we are good. I'm just going to go back here. This is the place where we meet the mummy, the dog and, and the hollow. And we are going to be able to go that way again, if I'm right. <laughs> and go right. Yeah, he's dead, but we don't know that. <laughs> he's moving too much. So let's go that way now. There is a few states you need to be careful. Alright, ouch. Not nice. Uh, do I take a little bit of luck here? I could do that. Alright, because you are going to be probably poisoned here. And there is one more here. Something happening, I hear a noise. I just remove the poison and a little bit. So then we're going to lead this one here. I think there is an item here, but I'm not sure about that. No, I was just wrong. <laughs> okay, let's just go upstairs. Alright, so we're up the last pass we, we took this is where we come from and this is where we killed the hollow from, from downstairs and there is a dog that's there, I'm going to switch to magic spell to dispose of him and there's a dog that's there a few statues and another torch here. Alright. And if you want, you can jump over there. But it's, it's a little bit dangerous because there is so many statues. No, am I not saying. Oh, I, th I think I'm, I'm saying crap. I think we need to jump from downstairs, so it's not not here. Don't, don't follow this advice, it's so bad. <laughs> so let's just keep going. We're going to meet. I think this is a giant ant or a spider, I don't I don't remember. Oh, here we have some more friend. Okay, it's a little bit further. Okay, let's take my magic because these guys are going to It's 
bit trouble if I don't. My sword is at risk. I'm going to switch to another one. This fire sword is pretty good, but it's taking a lot of damage. Hopefully, and I don't. I've got more than one. So let's switch to my magic longsword. I've got a poison one too, just in case. So here we get the great shield. I think this is the ice something. Uh, wicked ice, great shield. Just for the sake of being sure, I'm just going to break all these parts. Sorry for for the noise. And uh, station on the left, dog on the right. If you have anything of range, just blast him out. It's a lot easier. Let's slit this torch here. And don't worry about this one. This is, this is not this is not a, a boss. Just need to jump here. Alright. Be careful of these statue. Alright. There's an item here. Twenty poison arrows. And a torch just here. But there is a few enemies which are just going to you. Oh, miracle we are just more efficient. <laughs> There's a third one. Just coming to you. And behind these guys are there is only an NPC. You don't need to attack her. She's going to if you go in her in her gas in her gas cloud here, it's going to cure you from poison. But it's going to to degrade your item. Very slowly. So she's not dangerous. At least I, I believe so. <laughs> you can kill her, but I think it's not yielding anything interesting. It's something like a poison moss. Let's go a little bit further. I should reach. No, this is not that way. I should reach the next bonfire soon. Oh, 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 oh. I'm having a few frame issues. So, let's enter the maze. There is only allows on this side, so this is not a boss. But I think there is a few. Two or three. Another one here. There is a lot of leather here. Be careful not to fall. Okay, four. For once I was just under the usual number. Be careful. I don't want to die at... I'm so close from the bonfire, it would be stupid. <laughs> Terribly stupid. So I'm just going to go for the bonfire right now. So let's just go through this area. There is a wooden wall here. And behind on the left, the bonfire. Ouch! And a statue which is going to spit on you. <laughs> Come on, I, I was that close. So let's just leave this one. Alright. Let's keep going. We need to go a little bit downstairs now to leave this area. And go in the in the black gulf I think. So if I remember right, which is, I think, not the case. This is a ladder to take. Or maybe... Let's just check the pot for now. There could be something around. And we don't want to miss it. I will just check from upstairs. There's a few more of these. Oh! I forgot him. Maybe he just... no, he took the ladder to get upstairs. There is quite a few of these guys downstairs, which are just waiting for us to... to get, to get the ladder. So, I think it was left, so I'm just going to try this one. Alright. 
Yeah, I think it is the right place. So let's just jump on this one. Alright. And there is quite a little bit of hello downstairs, which I'm just waiting for you to, to go down. So if you want, you can take a few from here. You just need to lock these guys, and if you have any bombs or, or kunais, you could be just throwing them what you've got. Like that. Oh, there is one which is just at my level. How did he manage to come here? Is there a secondary... No, we just fall from here. Oh, nice. So let's wait for the other guy, which is just going upstairs. And he's going to <laughs> die on the ladder. So we are going to need to reach this... I think I missed... this part here. Normally I just take this one. I'll, I'll just go upstairs again when I'm done with these guys. So let's just check. Nobody on the, st on the ladder. Let's go. Taking out a few before going down is, is always a good idea. Because they are doing quite a lot of damage, even if they are not very resilient. And you... Oh crap, wrong tool. I wanted to heal. So let's see if there is any more of these guys. Around 20 life gem, nice. Don't attack these parts with your sword, it's going to erode your, your weapons quite fast. Dark fog and torch, nice. So I think I need to take this later here to, to reach the chest. Alright, great clever. I think this is a very good blunt weapon. And if I want to reach the pot which was just over there, I'll need to go upstairs again. Not sure this is the right later. Sorry about this little messed up. But there is a platform on which you can just jump on this place. And there is an item in the pot just there. So let's look at at this. It should be obvious. I think this is definitely this platform here. And there is a ladder just there. So let's go upstairs. And grab the ladder which is Oh! Come on. So and grab the ladder which is did I wait anything here? No. So it should be this little, which is just a little bit further. This one. Okay, just jump. I'm going to take a little bit of life, except I was on it already. And I think we can, we can jump from here. Just simply let you fall, and be careful not to go too far. Alright. Resin pine resin, it could always be useful. Plus there is three of these. So now we need to make a trick jump or maybe there is some item here. Um, I'm going to make the jump. It seems to be easier. Hopefully I will not go too far. Alright. I do not recommend doing that if you have too many souls on you. So let's go downstairs. I'm going to use, I think, a bomb to destroy these. It will be safer. Kunai's are working too, but bombs are just fun. Alright. So let's now jam downstairs and end this area. So let's leave this little torch here. There is a fragrant bunch of yore, which is quite a good item here. And there is a, a few more statues here, but if you want, you can just destroy the, them from afar. If I use, for, for example, a bomb or something like that. But you can run too, if you want. 
No, R wrong. <laughs> so wrong. Let's just try to aim a little bit better. All right, just two, two of these, and we are out. <laughs> so let's keep going and go through this wall. And now we should be in Black Gulf. Yeah, here we are. And if we just go to the left, right now, there is a first bonfire, which is just waiting for us to rest a little bit. Anyway guys, I hope this video has been helping a, a few of you. Thank you for watching and have fun!